What does this picture tell you about what happened to Travis Alexander? Well, Vinny, this is an image that's taken actually from autopsy, and one of the things that is the most glaring in here are all these contused areas or bruises that he has on the surface of his leg. And even the forensic pathologist, the medical examiner, made note of these in his report. On page four of this, he even has a, high, a header that's entitled Blunt Force Injuries. Wow, what does that mean? Well, what that means is that these injuries, these insults that you see, arose from some kind of impact that happened with this gentleman's legs. Now, how do blunt force injuries come about? Well, you can be struck by something, something can drop on you, but in this particular case, I'm thinking that because these are atypical on the tops of the feet, he was stomped on. Stomped That's on by Jody Evans. Absolutely stomped on. Let's move over to this area of the scene. What, is, what does this area tell you about what happened to Travis Alexander? Well, what's the most significant is we have actually contact traces of blood here where hands have been placed as if someone is leaning over the sink. And again, this area here is representative of what's referred to as fine aspirate blood. Uh, this is consistent with medium velocity that's being coughed up, if you will. So this is indicative of the fact that he's sustained some kind of chest injury at this point. By this point in time, he's, he may or may not be aware of the fact that his life is slowly slipping away. And then he comes down the hallway here, and we have this other area, this great area of blood. Oh, boy, At the end yeah. of the hallway, going into his bedroom. What does Absolutely. this tell you? Absolutely. And keep in mind, he's at the most distal portion that he can get to at this point. He has attempted to escape or, or wound up here in some manner. This is a huge, huge, copious amount of blood. Where can this come from? Well, we have it in our information that's been given to us, the fact that he had his throat cut from probably left to right or right to left. But what we do know is that two major vessels in his throat were cut. That's going to be the right carotid and the right jugular. Bang. We're going to have all of this blood that's going to spill forth. And this is where the man died.